Today, I'm going to show you the top 10 small dog breeds that are perfect for beginners. They are easy to care for, train, and love. They are also super cute and cuddly. But before we get into the list, I want to remind you to adopt Don't Shop. There are so many adorable dogs waiting for a home, and you can save a life by adopting one from a shelter or a rescue group. Trust me, you'll get a loyal and grateful companion. All right, let's get to the list. Here are the 10 best small dog breeds for beginners. Number 10, Maltese. The Maltese is a tiny, fluffy white dog that looks like a doll. It is very smart, easy to train, and eager to please. It is also very affectionate and loves to be with its owner. The Maltese does not shed much, but it does need regular brushing and grooming. The Maltese is also prone to some health issues, such as dental problems, eye infections, and allergies. The Maltese is best for indoor living, as it is sensitive to heat and cold. It also needs moderate exercise and mental stimulation. The Maltese is also very brave and fearless and will bark at anything that it thinks is a threat. It is also very loyal and protective of its owner and will not tolerate anyone who tries to harm them. The Maltese is a great watchdog, but also a great snuggle buddy. Number nine, Pug. The Pug is a small, wrinkly-faced, curly-tailed dog that has a lot of personality. It is very adaptable, friendly, and loyal. It gets along well with children, other pets, and strangers. It is also very easy to care for, as it does not need much grooming or exercise. However, the pug does have some health issues, such as breathing problems, eye problems, skin infections, and obesity. The pug is also sensitive to heat and cold and should not be left outside for long. The pug is a great companion for anyone who wants a dog that is fun, funny, and faithful. The pug is also very stubborn and willful and will not listen to you if it doesn't want to. It is also very greedy and will eat anything that it can get its paws on, including your food, your shoes, and your socks. The pug is also very vocal and will make a lot of noises, such as snorting, grunting, and wheezing. The pug is a great entertainer, but also a great troublemaker. Number eight, Bichon Frise. The Bichon Frise is a small, fluffy white dog that looks like a cotton ball. It is a cheerful, playful, and lively breed. The Bichon Frise is very smart, easy to train, and eager to learn. It is also very affectionate and loves to be with its owner. The Bichon Frise does not shed much, but it does need regular brushing and grooming. The Bichon Frise is also prone to some health issues such as ear infections, bladder stones, and allergies. The Bichon Frise is best for indoor living, as it is sensitive to heat and cold. It also needs moderate exercise and mental stimulation. The Bichon Frise is also very mischievous and curious and will explore every corner of your house and sometimes get into trouble. It is also very energetic and playful and will chase anything that moves, including birds, squirrels, and cats. The Bison Freeze is a great friend, but also a great prankster. Number seven, Shih Tzu. The Shih Tzu is a small, long-haired, flat-faced dog that originated in China. It is one of the most ancient and noble breeds in the world. The Shih Tzu is very loyal, loving, and calm. It is also very adaptable and can live in any environment as long as it is with its owner. The Shih Tzu does not shed much, but it does need regular brushing and grooming. It is also prone to some health issues such as eye problems, breathing problems, and joint problems. The Shih Tzu is best for indoor living as it is sensitive to heat and cold. It also needs moderate exercise and mental stimulation. The Shih Tzu is also very brave and confident and will not be intimidated by anyone or anything. It is also very independent and will do its own thing even if you don't agree with it. The Shih Tzu is a great leader, but also a great cuddler. Number six, Boston Terrier. The Boston Terrier is a small, short-haired, black and white dog that originated in the United States. 
It is one of the most American and patriotic breeds in the world. The Boston Terrier is very intelligent, easy to train, and eager to please. It is also very friendly and gets along well with children, other pets, and strangers. The Boston Terrier does not need much grooming or exercise, but it does need regular cleaning of its ears and eyes. The Boston Terrier is also prone to some health issues, such as breathing problems, eye problems, and deafness. The Boston Terrier is best for indoor living, as it is sensitive to heat and cold. It also needs moderate exercise and mental stimulation. The Boston Terrier is also very playful and humorous and will make you laugh with its antics. It is also very expressive and will show you its emotions with its eyes and facial expressions. The Boston Terrier is a great comedian but also a great listener. Number 5. Chihuahua The Chihuahua is a tiny, short-haired or long-haired brown or black dog that originated in Mexico. It is one of the smallest and most popular breeds in the world. The Chihuahua is very loyal, devoted, and protective of its owner. It is also very adaptable and can live in any environment as long as it is with its owner. The Chihuahua does not need much grooming or exercise, but it does need regular brushing and dental care. The Chihuahua is also prone to some health issues, such as heart problems, hypoglycemia, and seizures. The Chihuahua is best for indoor living as it is sensitive to heat and cold. It also needs moderate exercise and mental stimulation. The Chihuahua is also very sassy and bossy and will not back down from anyone or anything. It is also very jealous and will not share its owner with anyone else. The Chihuahua is a great guard dog, but also a great diva. Number four, Pomeranian. The Pomeranian is a small, fluffy, orange or white dog that originated in Germany. It is one of the most glamorous and fashionable breeds in the world. The Pomeranian is very smart, easy to train, and eager to learn. It is also very affectionate and loves to be with its owner. The Pomeranian does not shed much, but it does need regular brushing and grooming. The Pomeranian is also prone to some health issues such as dental problems, eye problems, and skin problems. The Pomeranian is best for indoor living, as it is sensitive to heat and cold. It also needs moderate exercise and mental stimulation. The Pomeranian is also very lively and spunky, and will keep you entertained with its tricks and games. It is also very vocal, and will bark at anything that it finds interesting or annoying. The Pomeranian is a great performer, but also a great chatterbox. Number 3. Yorkshire Terrier The Yorkshire Terrier is a small, long-haired, black and tan dog that originated in England. It is one of the most elegant and sophisticated breeds in the world. The Yorkshire Terrier is very brave, confident, and independent. It is also very loyal and loves to be with its owner. The Yorkshire Terrier does not shed much, but it does need regular brushing and grooming. The Yorkshire Terrier is also prone to some health issues, such as dental problems, eye problems, and liver problems. The Yorkshire Terrier is best for indoor living, as it is sensitive to heat and cold. It also needs moderate exercise and mental stimulation. The Yorkshire Terrier is also very adventurous and curious, and will explore every nook and cranny of your house and sometimes get into trouble. It is also very feisty and playful and will chase anything that moves, including mice, rats, and bugs. The Yorkshire Terrier is a great hunter, but also a great snatcher. Before we reveal the second best small dog breed for beginners, I want to remind you that owning a dog is a big responsibility. You need to learn more about dogs before you bring one home. That's why I have created a playlist for you, where you can find more tips on how to be a good dog owner. You can access the playlist by clicking on the link below. And while you're at it, why not subscribe to my channel and save the playlist so you won't miss any of my awesome videos. Trust me, you and your dog will thank me later. Number 2. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a small, long-haired, brown and white dog that originated in England. It is one of the most royal and graceful breeds in the world. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is very gentle, friendly, and easygoing. 
It is also very affectionate and loves to be with its owner. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel does not shed much, but it does need regular brushing and grooming. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is also prone to some health issues, such as heart problems, ear problems. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is best for indoor living, as it is sensitive to heat and cold. It also needs moderate exercise and mental stimulation. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is also very sweet and charming, and will melt your heart with its eyes and smile. It is also very sociable and gets along well with everyone, including children, other pets, and strangers. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a great companion, but also a great diplomat. Number one, Havanese. The Havanese is a small, long-haired, white or multicolored dog that originated in Cuba. It is one of the most cheerful and playful breeds in the world. The Havanese is very smart, easy to train, and eager to please. The Havanese does not shed much, but it does need regular brushing and grooming. The Havanese is also prone to some health issues, such as eye problems, skin problems, and patellar luxation. The Havanese is best for indoor living, as it is sensitive to heat and cold. It also needs moderate exercise and mental stimulation. The Havanese is also very lively and spunky and will keep you entertained with its tricks and games. It is also very vocal and will bark at anything that it finds interesting or annoying. The Havanese is a great performer, but also a great chatterbox. I hope you liked this video about the top 10 small dog breeds for beginners. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I love to hear from you. But remember, choosing a dog is a big responsibility. You should always do your research, meet the dog in person, and provide it with proper care, training, and socialization. A dog is a lifelong friend, and you should be ready to give it the best life possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.